Hey guys, it's Nina. Welcome back to my channel. So I want to show you guys how I get this really easy top knot. So of course top knots have been around forever, but I have only recently started doing them. If you guys watch my video where I challenge myself to five random hairstyles, I actually started doing this top knot after that video because it just gave me the push that I needed to do something different and creative with my hair because I typically do just wear braid outs and just like really simple styles. So I was really excited to add this to my repertoire now. Now I have more things to do. My locks are getting longer too, so that really helps. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I do this with no clips, no rubber bands, no pins. And I can move my head around really good if I'm at a show or something about my head. Yeah. So if you're interested, keep watching. So I'm starting with my hydrating mist from K Essentials. I like to mist my hair anytime I style it. And then I'm taking two sections in the front since I like to have two pieces down and I'm separating those with a rubber band just for the purpose of this video so you can clearly see what I'm doing. So next I'm taking sections of locks from both sides of my head, right about where my ears begin. Not an exact science as you can see, but just taking sections from either side. And I'm just making sure that I have everything centered because you definitely do not want a lopsided top knot. So I actually pulled a lot more hair than I normally would. So as you'll see in just a second, it does make it a little tougher to put the hair in the top knot just because you have more hair to work with, but it's still doable. Now, if you wanna be really precise, you can look in the back of your head and make sure that all your parts are even, um, but I didn't do that because this is just a messy weekend top knot, so I'm not you know, being super OCD about it. But I definitely could have taken just a few more pieces in the back. So the next thing, I have picked out my sections and now I'm taking them and wrapping them around, just making one big twist. Just twisting the sections all the way down to the ends. And also don't worry about any locks that stick out of the twist because you will take care of those once you start tucking the knot. So now I'm just checking to make sure that the twist is about as centered as it's gonna get. There is that little piece that's sticking out but it's not gonna be a problem. And then I take the twist and I wrap it around itself starting at the base and then I just pull everything all around. Now these ends are gonna get a little bit tricky and it's gonna take a few tries to make sure that everything gets tucked under because as I mentioned earlier, I did take more hair than I normally do. So don't be discouraged during this part. You are gonna have to do quite a bit of tucking depending on how long your locks are and depending on how much hair you took for this twist. And also one tip, start tucking the locks that are closest to the twist. So work from the inside out. Yeah, as you can see, it becomes a little uncooperative and the ends don't wanna stay tucked, but just keep going, keep tucking, keep pulling, and then you'll start to see the knot stand on its own. So the knot is already standing on its own, but I'm just gonna continue tucking to make sure it's really secure because the last thing you want is to just be walking around and this whole thing comes unraveled. So you can never really do too much tucking. Here's a view from the back. And as you can see, the knot has a nice little like cinnamon bun shape to it. So now this is a big step. I'm taking some of the locks that are hanging out in the back and I'm gonna pull them forward to really secure the knot. So I'm just gonna take those locks and wrap them around the base of the knot. And it's not only gonna make the knot more secure, it's gonna make it look a little bit neater as well. 
And then I'm gonna take one from the other side and just wrap it in the opposite direction and tuck it around. And you can really do this as many times as you want. This will help you even out the back too, so that way everything is just nice and straight and symmetrical. So here's how the knot is looking in the back. And I could have taken a few more locks just from the crown of my head and just pulled them forward. But again, this is a weekend bun. I don't have a fresh retwist. So this is what we're working with right now. And now I'm just gonna take down the locks that I set aside in the front and that is gonna finish off the look. And here it is. So guys, this is the finished look and usually I would like tuck my hair behind my ears just to kind of make it funky. And also I do tend not to sleep in this style because it is so easy to do. I could definitely say it's probably easier to do this without clips the longer your locks are for sure. But yeah, this is the look. I have been wearing it out as I do with every new style that I finally let myself do. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have questions and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.